maybe I should go for 505 for a double today. Oh. Wait, Rob, do you need a spot? <laughs> yeah. Do you need a spot? I'm great at that, Rob. Not yet, not yet. <laughs> Is there still one person on the way or what? I'm not sure who Half person, half fish. Dude. Oh, now you tell him? Yeah. <laughs> not sure yet. You knew it. <laughs> Tony, you said most Orientals are like robots last night when you had them on a little interview. What did he mean by that? I don't know. They're Just all robotic. Emotionless? Yeah, they don't, they just... No feelings? They're programmable, yeah. that's what he was trying to say. By Disney. Yeah. I was just at Disney, what a miserable experience. Oh, yeah, nice yeah. big fans he was. Imagine if you have kids and you have to go there. Well, I brought my niece, so I got, didn't get the whole... I got a taste of it, and yeah, no fun. I mean, your kids are probably better behaved than her, though. I don't see that. <laughs> no, they're wild? Uh, my new one's going to be a fucking a demon swarm, for sure. Thanks to one of our maniacs in Brooklyn who wishes to remain anonymous. He's gifted the Iron Mind Brooklyn. Captains of Crush. Every level from number one to number four. And that's 365 pound grip straight that goes four. Very few can do it. Plus, Brad has the one I was given to Roy. So Brad's got a great grip collection, and thank you, Anonymous from Brooklyn, Maniac, for this donation. Maybe we'll use right. the end. Now I know where, where to come if I ever want a good forearm workout. Damn right. I'd like to start somebody who his forearm workout is something called Masters in Baiting, whatever that is. <laughs> If I were to guess, I believe he's like me. He can't ejaculate. So there's a lot of Matt, and then he has a tough stop and get his wind. And he probably's like, fuck this. Cracks open a coal and lights a smoke and calls it a day. What do you think he watches and looks at while he does such a thing? He likes some transsexual porn and women with strap on dildos. He imagines them fucking him in the ass with it. He's told you because he can't get, yeah. It's like me and him were really can't ejaculate like we used to. Make All right, someone life. do a set. This is going. <laughs> this is going in a direction that. <laughs> he can't Please. ejaculate unless there's a certain conservative in a bikini nearby. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine him in a bikini. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. That's where that came from Miami. He's doing great shape. Yeah. You know what I think that's Sonia Light is the Lantana bar has knurling in the middle on your back. And so I did it yesterday. Is it from a Mercer? Yeah. Okay. I think I still have it. And I did the same damn squat bar like a Let dumbass. Where, where did it come in? Did you have like an open wound? Oh, yeah, you got a lump back there. Yeah, yeah this fucking. Yeah. It has knurling. That's, that's where it was? Yeah, well, it spread there. It spread into my. To my that that lump wasn't always there? No. That little protrusion? Uh, that that had knurling in the back. Oh, yeah, yeah I can see it now. So, is the cellulitis gone? Or? I don't think so. I was up with some pain last night. And I, got, I guess still got mucus in my throat. What, what did they put you on? Antibiotic. I went through that course of antibiotic and muscle relaxers and painkiller, uh, mild painkiller. Uh, did Rob Zell steal all your painkillers? No. <laughs> don't lie. I'll you say this. Smoke and smoke them? I'll say this. <laughs> that time I was doing that little stuff I shouldn't do. That so and so thirty meg painkiller at the end of the night was like a like a rocket. <laughs> put, you right where you want, put you right where you want to go. Yeah, everyone thinks I'm such. Put a me man. right, Leonard. Well, you guys picture me on an outdoor couch didn't talk about with it, six black sure. girls, nice as hell, six foot, one on my lap, two hits sitting here, smoking and drinking. Is those ones got you in trouble? No. Nobody gives a fuck about that. Everybody wants to know about the fish nets. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, the girls at Bamboo, did you see they had a shooting in an MMA fight there? I didn't go that day, but I should have went there. They had a fucking fight. They set yeah, up the you should have went there. So what? <laughs> to get shot. Of, <laughs> to get shot. There, well, there was a shooting in Miami last night. Was it a homestead? Two people got killed? 
No, was it Hialeah or Homestead? A few nights ago, there was three guys that jumped out of an SUV and That's shot. the one I'm talking about, like Hialeah, I think, yeah. When it gets hot, you see a lot of pies get irritable. They don't have air conditioning. You so. would think Miami would evolve. It's it's more, like, more degeneracy. But anyway, the fishnets, all the girls, you know, we need, we need to go one of these nights. They all wear fishnets and thongs, similar to trapeze, but even more slinky. Low, so and there's a girl, a Haitian waitress, early 20s, calls herself scrumptious. <laughs> and she's got that thong up where the other girls, is you know, you see it. Did she name herself or did somebody else? She's on her? Facebook, scrumptious. Whoever gives himself <laughs> a nickname. Well, she is. When she pulls it up and I called her the fishnet goddess. And she says, yeah. And she goes, why don't you wear some? I says, I'll let him wear them next week. So she snuck into the men's room and I dropped trial and I had the fishnets on. Where'd you get the fishnets at? At doll store, I got queen size. You know, some of those fat, <laughs> there's so many fat That's nets so around. <laughs> Any man can find fishnets, Adam, all of us. Adam, yeah, like I want that. And a certain someone that remained nameless, I'm sure he's put them on and just the thought of that. <laughs> Matter of fact, if I see him, I'm going to force him to crawl in fish nets. I'm going to ride on his back like a horse. So what do you think about that, father? <laughs> <laughs> These are the smallest 45-pound plates yeah, I've ever right. seen. Brand I, thought, new, right I thought they were 35s. Right out of the box. Not even benched in months, so like Planet Fitness, don't judge me, but... They will. Yeah, they will no matter what, so you scratch them. Like Larry said, come with these people in my front yard and see what they could do. These guys that like to criticize. <laughs> come to my fucking house. He'll probably start giving out his address, knowing him. That doesn't shit doesn't bother him one bit. <laughs> that preacher girl's so fucking narrow. Who the fuck can fit their arms in? Alright, ready, Leonard? Come on, your time's three. Three, two, one. Get the form down. That's all. There you go. <sighs> It was almost a close grip. It looked pretty easy to me. Yeah. 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 I see. Today's Memorial Day, as we all know. That's the holiday for those that died in service to the United States of America. Whatever. It had, could it be in wartime? It could be friendly fire? Whatever. But those that lost their lives, just to make it clear. And sadly, I think, because there's less and less people that have died. I mean, we had Afghanistan and Iraq, but it's still a small number compared to when you had World War I, World War II, and Vietnam and Korea. That was close to a million deaths, if I'm not mistaken, combined. So Memorial Day is almost a lost holiday, but you could be thankful for it. Less deaths, and as long as we still have our rights. But if we lose our rights, all those deaths are going to be in vain. Well, did you see what our Vice President Kamala Harris tweeted? Yes. Enjoy your long weekend. Doesn't want to even mention it. Nope. Do people understand if we, that we didn't go to war in certain times, what we'd be living under? But actually... I'm just getting a kick out of filming you, and then right behind you is you. Huh, and there's me here. Here's... Brad, this should be exposed heavily. This is my... Adam McLeod's not going to like this either. This is the modern day Winston Churchill portrait of Big Lenny. And why isn't this up there, Brad? Get Valerie, she can sit on my shoulders. And I want this up, I want this right in the middle. See this? Right there. Shame on you, Brad. God, that looks like me so much, whoever did that. It looks like a hybrid between you and Kalora. Yeah. Fantastic. Lenny, I gotta ask you, I, I read the comments on your channel from time to time and I've seen comments 
about the lack of intensity people are noticing from you in the gym. Do you have anything you want to say about that? I have cellulitis. So how is that affecting you physically? Fatigued, weak, and a lot of mucus in the throat. It's not contagious for what I know, but I still think I have it. So. How long does that take to clear up? I mean, you did your course in antibiotics, right? I don't know, I have to do another one. You go back to the doctor? Yeah. Did you yeah. go back? Yeah, no, I go through other channels. I don't like to see the doctors, but lack of intensity. <laughs> What other channel? Is you going to go to like a voodoo witch doctor? <laughs> Probably be better do? off. I'll show you people lack of intensity. All right, let's see it. You're going to see it. Andrew, actually, we had a long discussion Saturday night, and most of it was on how we'd get much better content, and it would be better to take this fight as serious as possible. So we're in the works with a guy now, and, and we are going to take the fight as serious as possible and up get up there with the training. Um, that's why I've been... Like I posted something yesterday that was just a hint. Even though it may not be a lot of weight for some people, you could tell that I'm really trying to focus on more of my workouts rather than being ooey and gooey. So we hear your call. We're not going to eat to you too much, but just enough. We're going to save an ooey and gooey workout with a truck driver. We're going to get ooey and gooey in LA Fitness. That'll punch him in his face. I'm going Three, two, one. <clears throat> What is that? Why the fuck is that fucking thing right there? What happened? Bastion in that shit. The weight hit that? Yeah. yeah. Shit. What if I... <sighs> Will it hit it there? That'll sound you'll do a preacher girl. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, if anyone wants a home gym set up, don't ask Brad to do it. <laughs> <laughs> That felt good, too. That was going right up. Wait a few minutes and hit it again. Yeah. Unfortunately. It's pretty well done. It's a quarter. It's getting back into it. I could see that becoming a, a mecca. Oh! Take it. Oh, yeah. Oh! I'm not as good spot as a cloud, but... I just put my clouds and nuts in my mouth. Yeah, I don't want to drip sweat on you either. That's a, Come on. That should have been the stipulation for Jay after he lost to do a little tea bag and give Adam a cloud. <laughs> Jay, we're getting ooey and gooey in here and sweaty. Where are you? All right, one. <laughs> Two. Okay. Feels like three fifteen back in the day. So yeah. we go into it. Yeah. Well, you, you know. Maybe go to the grass. <laughs> Gets in the mirror and he finds out about it later. <laughs> What's up with Brad driving the girls' car now? <laughs> no, you'll have to ask him. <laughs> you gonna keep it off the pavement this time? Yeah. He should be proud. All right, 275, take two. Everything's moved out of the way. Yep. No interference. Just form, Bob. Just I'll Lenny's form. gut. I'll form. Yeah, kind of fatigued, was it? Don't say yeah, that. Yeah, this fucking shit dream. Yeah, I got to think of, uh, you know. Remember what I... All right, three, two. <clears throat> You know, it's stupid things like driving in neighborhoods at night, driving not caring what's... Driving in neighborhoods that you shouldn't be in at night. 
past midnight. Shouldn't be. What nothing, looking good, for? nothing good happens after fucking midnight. Yeah, a nice a piece of a nice little tan. To that. A nice little freak tan. You mean you shouldn't yeah, be. Yeah, when you're all goosed up. <laughs> That's true, but also it's the little baggie. You could have a vitamin C one of those teeny little baggies. That looks so suspicious. You get, you get careless when you've done it for so many times, well, so many this. years, and never. I'll say know. this: it was fire water in there. Didn't touch it. There was in the little cup and little. So it's a little baggie. Of course, the real small baggies, not the baggies. Well, what else would you put in it? A pill bottle? The bottle of the pills or something? Yeah, for the other stuff. It's not the only, the maniacs, no, it's not the the only small shit. baggies he has. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bigger than Jay's. Uh, no. we, when they, I challenge Jay to a naked pose down right now. Oh, yeah. He's definitely going to go for that. That's definitely something he'll take you up on. Well, what does the winner get? What's, blow, what's the blow incentive? job. <laughs> from from I you. I don't know. Ah! <laughs> Projecting again. Mm -hmm. Brad, you're looking awful younger. Both of you. Both of you you're looking very you. young with that new hairstyle. Brad's the movie screen. Gotta, you're the I get projector. my hair cut once a month. I just got to cut the other making you look a lot younger. Does it? So I should cut it once a week like these other fruits that you see at the gym? While they're vaping, spotting each other? You need to get some skinny tights and wear them underneath. Skinny tights? <laughs> you can borrow mine from the fight. Never wear that. My calves are small. You should sell them on eBay. There you go. Just think. My calves are small enough. Why do these guys wearing joggers just shrink their fucking calves when they wear them? I don't know why. Why I've never had joggers. They just tear at the bottom. What's funny is Jay lost a fight to a guy wearing pantyhose, and Jay <laughs> Jay backed down from a guy wearing makeup and fishnet pantyhose. So, what do you think about that, maniacs? That's the thing. You're gonna fight Jay. Get that bra on, fellas. You'll lose. I don't know if it's a psychological distraction or what. <laughs> the two of you would have a hard time. Oh, by the way, were you planning on fighting Jay again? Because I heard you had some makeup on the other night, on your live. Oh, you wear makeup now too. It's, they're just. <laughs> you, you I'm, not, I'm not even talking about that. Was that a little session with your next door neighbor? She had <laughs> I you dressed would up. I'd rather that would than too. anything else I'm going through right now. I don't blame you. I would rather look like that because of something. I'd rather have her feminize me. <laughs> of course she would. <laughs> oh, don't hurt yourself. No, that's that's so sorry, Elias is bad. Oh, sorry. Whoops, sorry. Yep, sorry. Yep. Can, we, can McLeod spot you? Uh, I was actually. I'm like, a great spotter. Adam? Yeah, yeah I don't Adam, want to. Adam, get over uh, there. I don't you want to. You came in to spot Adam. Uh, you see? Adam, I'm in the prison stone. Come on. Come on. He's got it. He was invited here to be the spotter. Guy. Come on, he's nice the spotter. spotter. All right, my kind of three, give me a little lift off for this girl. Adam, that's when you lift the bar off the prize. You know, yes. That's when you rest your balls on his nose. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. Yeah, there you go. Come on, Adam. Come on, Jay. Jay. Pancake. Jay. Pancake. Jay. Pancake. Jay. 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 K-L-M-N-O-P-Q-R-S-T-U-V. So yeah, I lived up to my fucking... W-X-Y-Z. I lived up great to... Spot. Great spot. Great spot. Perfect. How the fuck are you going to get up off the mat? Once the cellulitis is cleared. Oh. I'm not going to get on the mat. That's the key. I'm not up to speed. Are you still doing... Is he still doing the first? That's the key. Yeah. He's not good. He's going I on. Talk, I talked to Mr. G yesterday, and he's got a million. He's got great plans. He's working on. He's him and Dave have the connections to do it. So wait, but where's the fight going to gonna take place? Uh, should be at the Olympia. All right, at the Olympia. Okay. In the expo. Where's right. the Olympia this year? Orlando. Orlando again. Yeah. Did you just say Yolanda? Yeah. yeah. Yolanda. <laughs> That's what they call it now because there's so he's many. Speaking of Yolanda, his uh, date tonight. Yeah. So. I want to know, is there like a physical you got to pass? Is it sanctioned? Yeah. Uh, Dave Palumbo's got to brag, grabs my nuts and tell me to cough. Maybe uh, <laughs> if we got to get money uh, to pass a physical, we can have Dale's Photoshop experts Photoshop some blood work to submit to the doctor. Some blood work. What do you mean? Dale Photoshop some blood work? 
His Damn, pictures. What did I miss? I missed some. His pictures. Yeah. He has them photoshopped. You sure about that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's just, yeah. Ex expert Photoshop. <laughs> experts looking up. His photos. muscles look like plastic. Although he placed a huge order for the weird energy. So. Huge. It's very nice. Huh? Yeah. The weird energy. Yeah. Brad, you're looking awfully yeah. healthy and yeah. awfully young. Yeah. I keep looking at him. What, what, what the fuck? Did he turn 20 on me? Huh. What are you taking? <laughs> I'm not we fucking you, Leonard. You keep trying, but it's not happening. No, it's not that. It's just a weird energy. What? What? Who, whose idea was it to put your fucking name on that bottle? That wasn't my idea. It's mine. Where's that? Where's the it's trash in the bottle? Yeah. Clear that shit up now, because I got messages about that. Why the fuck? Why the fuck is Rob Zilla's name on the weird energy? Because I said so. Okay. Uh, there you go. End of story. There you go, maniacs. That's what you got. Who's gonna win the fight, Lenny? Because I said so. Because. Big Lenny said so. Right. That's enough Thank said. Thank you for clearing that up. Well, fuck fuck what, the I say fuck what they say because oh, if fine. it wasn't for me and Lenny went there together that day, I called him and said, let's go to Redcon and film, let's make a video. So I'm just as responsible for that situation <laughs> happening. So you guys can all go fuck yourselves. How about that? If you don't want to buy it, we don't need your sales. We're getting plenty of sales. I bet you wish you could fuck themselves because if I could, I would. Yeah, and if I could ahead. suck oh, myself. I know I said Brad some self-sucking pictures and I'm sure... I didn't even open it. I know better not to open it. See that tranny self sucker? Yeah, of course not. Holy shit. The flexibility. She got her legs behind yeah, her ears. What's amazing is he can he can't post shit on Instagram, but he can send us DMs oh, yeah. of video oh, yeah. all that shit. All the DMs yeah. of news stories and ladies and that are not ladies. I can't figure that out. I can't figure what out? How to post How it? I can do that and not do Instagrams. I showed you a hundred times. Duh, look who's showing me. You're only as good as your teacher. <laughs> good point. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Brad, I'm guess... I'm a mailman, not a fucking teacher, buddy. And Brad, the cheeks are down too, by the way. It's like, you, like what is it? You lost some Well, water. no, if you hold the camera right here, the cheeks will come out. Oh. I didn't drink enough today. I haven't drank any beer. Oh. I, I'm not sure that's not going to happen. You're, I mean, at some point today, you're going to drink a beer, right? It's Memorial Day. Sure. Sure. You know what? I got a laptop and I prefer the phone still. Why? It's just so easy. The laptop I got is super annoying. It's no, like but that, clicking on. that picks up nice. Yeah, it does. Sometimes. So, Rob, you're going to do or you should just do some pet tech? Yeah, pet tech. Okay, I'll finish off some pet tech. Brad, so, I still want to do I some biceps. I'll sanitize this equipment after. I have all the wipes yeah. and shit over there. Why did you bring all those grips back? I told you I had enough. Brad, I have the stand for it. They're, 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 they're going to thank Rob from New Jersey. For I thanked him, and I gifted you, and you weren't there. What do you mean you gifted me? I gifted you that for those hand grips in the stand on me, film. Like, fucking six of those. I kept a They're strengths. Yeah, well, they go I from... I told you I kept a few of them. You, you well, good. I want you to. That's why I brought the rest. You so now you have... for you or not? No, I do it here. I mean, I don't necessarily... See, the thing it is... I'm not going to sit around at home when I need to sleep. No, but those are actually good, like in the car. When you're starting to get road rage, you grab one of those. We've got to get, when I used to drive, I'd get road rage, i grab my dick and head on to the ghetto. Yeah. And, and I'm sure yeah. that, how does your dick work? Works good enough. It stops, it gets, goes down. Yeah. It, doesn't, it doesn't maintain, but who needs it? I do other shit. Who needs it? I was doing other shit. It's called eye sex. You ever do that? <laughs> When you get Please all mollied up, with their, when you, you get all mollied, it kicks in, and you that look. sounds much better. You look, you got, you look at it across the bar. You look at it across the bar, and you start yeah, going no, no like more this. sex, Brad. Just yeah, like you start going like this. I sex. And she starts doing it. Then, if you're sitting on the couch with a bunch of tans, you start looking at her face, and she starts going like this. Yeah, she's smart. She'll run the fuck out of the room. No, she sees the twitching, then they start twitching. <laughs> start twitching and going nine one one. No. That's when they pull out their rape whistle. Bullshit. <laughs> those girls don't play that. Not those My girls. girls. love that shit. They don't, they don't play that. Oh. They don't play that. You saw that in the Miami... And the they don't South play that Miami. white gal. <laughs> yeah, they were, they're fun. They were, they were a lot of fun. Well, I was playing... About that. I'm still going to go down Atlantic. I'm going to put on the posing trunks. And in an afternoon or night, I'm going to walk down the street. Why don't you trim that belly down a little bit? It's going to be here. Well, here's the thing. And this is where it's going to throw people off. 
I'm gonna bulk for two months while training for the fight and doing cardio. I'm getting as big as I can until September. How tall is Mr. G? Six feet tall, about 205, 200. No, he's 230. No, he's not, not now. He's 230? No, he's 205 now. He no, used to be. I've never seen this guy. He used to, oh, he used to be impressive. Yeah, he's no joke, I'll tell you that, but he's a little on the old side. But I'm gonna get myself to 320 and getting in shape. And then I'm gonna get off the heavy hitters and all that water is gonna come out of me. And my, just by doing that, I'm gonna have endurance out the yin yang. That's what I did every year. That's, that's what, a whole lot of talk. That's what I'd recommend for football, for Lyman. You come into camp at 360, and by the time you go through camp. So what's your prediction? This is an MMA fight, am I right? Yeah. Not a boxing match. What would be your prediction? Honestly. <sighs> around, less than around. I gotta take him out early. If I don't, he's gonna dance. And if he dances, I could get winded. And five minute rounds are a no go. And I'm not going barefoot either. So. Have you ever fought him again? No, I fought people. Football practice in school. Like, is this like a legitimate MMA rules? Yeah. Is it like full kicks, wrestling, grappling, punching? But I need some compensation because of my situation, number one. Although I did say I fight for free and I will. Is it personal? <clears throat> It's not personal anymore. No, no, a purse, like cash. Well, he, he likes to wear a purse. I like to wear a fish <laughs> jet anyway. I said we make a ladder match where we put a six-figure species contract in the balance. Yeah, and say so Dave could pay. I say Dave if he, I, if, he win, if he wins, he gets to baby bird you some of his fucking cookies and treats. Wow. Jeez. When I'm on there Tuesday, the first thing I'm going to say is, hey, Dave, let me just get this out of the way. Lenny wants to know, wants you to know if you ever need a babysitter for Logan, he's available. Ooh. <laughs> so you need a disciplinarian. Say so if Logan bad boy, Lenny will come down and give him a spanking, which he needs. That might be taken a little in another direction at the keto. We can leave those type of things for the keto pedo. <laughs>